the story of little brother and little sister. Once upon a time, two children lived at the edge of the forest. Autumn had come and they had been busy. They had gathered corn and made beautiful necklaces. They had gathered up all the last of the pumpkins and put them in a cool place for the winter. One day they were out playing together when little brother called out, look over there, coming through the tops of the red mountains, I see smoke. Oh, said little sister, that is a message from grandmother. What does it say, said little brother? She is inviting us to a great feast to give thanks to the great spirit. Let's go. So that day they spent it packing up all the things they would need for the long journey. Corn cakes to eat, things to keep them warm, and some beautiful necklaces they had made for grandmother. The next day, they headed out, singing a happy little song as they went along. Hey, nickety, hey, wanna, hey, nickety, hey, wanna. But all of a sudden, they heard a little sobbing coming from a little rock nearby. What could that be, they asked. A little, small hedgehog poked his head out. Oh, dear little hedgehog, why are you crying? asked little sister. Oh, said little hedgehog, I was so busy wiggity-tiggity, wiggity-tiggity through the woods that I lost my way and I can't find my way home. Oh, said little sister, come with us. I'm sure we can help you find your way. And so they went along, carrying little hedgehog so that he could see a little better. Ah, oh, there is my mother, he said, and hopped down, wiggity-tiggity, wiggity-tiggity, right over to a hollow tree where a very worried-looking mother hedgehog was. Oh, my little baby, she squeaked, thank you so much. They continued on their journey. Hey, nickety, hey, wanna, hey, nickety, hey, wanna. They came to a stream. There was no bridge to get over. Oh, no, said little brother. How will we ever cross? I know what to do, said little sister. Help me gather some stones and throw them into the stream. So they carried heavy stones and threw them into the stream until they had made a little way that they could cross right over. And so they crossed. They got to the other side and they heard a low growl. Oh, what could that be? Oh, no, said little sister. A little bear. A little bear had been nibbling berries from a nearby bush and had gotten his paw stuck under a log. Hold on, little cub, they said. We'll push this out of the way. And they pushed the log out of the way. Oh, thank you, said the little bear. I've got my paw stuck and I could not get out. I don't know what I would have done if you had not come. Come and share some berries with me. So, little brother and little sister nibbled some berries. When they had had their fill, they started to head up. The Red Mountains. Hey, nickety, hey, wanna, hey, nickety, 
Hey, Juana. Oh, big little sister, I am getting very tired, said little brother. Oh, I know, but we must get there before it gets dark. Hop on my back and I will carry you over. So, little brother hopped on his sister's back and she continued to climb up, up to the top of the mountain. Hey, Nickety, hey, Wana, hey, Nickety, hey, Wana. From the top, she could see down the other side. She could see that grandmother had lit the fire. And when she saw that, she was so excited. Look, look, there's grandmother's fire. I can see it. She's already waiting for us. And so little brother hopped down and they went skipping down right into the arms of their grandmother. Hello, my dear children. It is so good to see you. You have had a long, long journey. Come sit by the fire and warm yourselves. We shall have a delicious feast, but have some rest for now, she said. From now on, little sister, you will be called Strong Eagle. And little brother, you have been very strong as well and very brave. You will be named Proud Bear. She put some feathers in their hair and some necklaces around their necks. And together they sat, prepared with hearts warm to give thanks to the Great Spirit.